everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I document my fitness journey and share with you some helpful tips that I find along the way. Today is a full day of eating kind of vlog and I'm about to work out. Only thing I drink is this. Now most people would drink coffee. I stopped drinking coffee years, many years ago. I still drink it every now and then but not for my workout. I take this Optimum Nutrition Amino Energy, which really helps me focus and give me the energy that I need in the morning for workouts. So I'm so excited to do an upper body day today. It's a quick one, but a very effective one. Let's get working out. The workout I'm about to do is an upper body MRAP circuit. So we start off with some stretches and some warm up, usually a sprint, followed by a jumping jack, and then we go into the workout. Now the first one is a Arnold press with lateral raises done for about 10 to 12, 10 to 12 repetitions. And I would suggest you slow down when you do this. This is sped up by the way. And since it's MRAP, no rest in between from there to this workout, which is a front raise and a full over the head raise. I think that's what you call it. I forgot what it's called. And you do that for 10 to 12 reps as well. So one half and one full is one repetition. Followed by one of my favorites, which is a bicep curl. This one makes use of a half way pause and it really helps with contracting the muscles and you do that for 10 to 12 reps as well from there we move on to a press up now i'm not very good with press up or push up i'm still learning so i'm using a band in here and i'm using a kneeling uh, position so kneeling banded press up for 10 to 12 reps finally we do a like a hammer curl to a shoulder press up and a tricep extension good for 10 to 12 reps and then repeat the whole cycle for as much rounds as we can for 20 minutes So that is my breakfast, post-workout and breakfast as well. I'm not a big breakfast eater and so I just drank my protein shake. I would add ice to this because it doesn't really taste good just like that. One hard-boiled egg. Now I don't eat this every day but most days I do. This is just an easy fast way for me to, to add in protein and also breakfast because I work and as you know probably watched my video previously you could watch it i'll link it in here i'm still in a morning rush it's always a morning rush when i have a morning shift so that's meal number one and i'll see you for meal number two for lunch i am having my very own version of a stir fried prawn noodle so this is made of uh, shirataki or konya noodles some vegetables and lots and lots of prawns high protein low calorie and this is how it looks like after before <laughs> and this is how it looks like after now as you all know or maybe you don't i have very sweet tooth so i need some dessert today i opted for my apple that has turned brown already i really don't mind they taste delicious and crispy but i also eat my protein bar Try to eat half of it. So it's 1.06 already as you can tell in here. But that's how late I eat my lunch. See you later. I thought I'd give you an update for the day. Um, I have I think 983 left for my calories. So I do calorie counting just so 
I would know how much I've eaten for the day because sometimes I just eat and think that I've eaten less than I'm supposed to but in reality it's not <laughs> I eat more than that so I'm just thinking what I should eat next for dinner now, I'm not sure if you've seen this on TikTok and it's been trending for a good few days I know I'm talking about this salmon rice and it's just so delicious you use salmon so Italian protein and it's up to you how much salmon you put in there you use rice which is a very tasty carb right that's the only downside of it if you put too much carbs if you put too much rice then you would go over your your deficit if you're on a deficit but if you are able to control your rice and put more salmon that would work really well for those who are on a deficit like me um what did she put in i think she put in sriracha she put in some soy sauce again i would measure those just to make sure that you don't go overboard the one thing that's really hard to go overboard do not go overboard with is the mayo because that i think might be the secret sauce to that whole recipe but anyway let me go ahead and make it and then let me show you let's go to meal number three let's get cooking so we start off with frying the salmon now in tiktok they use a leftover salmon we don't have that so we made our own salmon with uh yeah with salmon with just salt and pepper actually just salt so i remove the skin and i just use my fork to flake it up until it's all meshed i don't like it too flaky though I, and i still like chunks of it and then from there you add rice again i don't have leftover rice so just rice that i just cook uh, that day and then we are going to add in some soy sauce just to put some flavor in it usually about a tablespoon i don't i didn't even measure here <laughs> and then we add some sriracha which makes it a bit spicier but sriracha tastes really good as well so add a bit of sriracha and i think this may be the secret sauce to all of this which is the japanese mayo <laughs> And I would just be very careful how much you put in there because that is very high in calorie as well. And from there, just mix it all together until you're ready to eat. Now, this is good for two people, by the way, not just one pe person. Another, another part of that TikTok hack is to eat it with seaweed. I don't have other seaweed other than this crispy seaweed snack. It still works wonders. I'll be honest that was a very satisfying meal i loved every bit of it and i hope that you try it as well if you don't know this trend going on on tiktok go on to tiktok follow emily Mar mariko emily mariko i think she's japanese i'll put her handle in here and find out all the other tasty things she has on her page that's basically what i eat in a day and it changes every week in a week it's usually the same like same breakfast same lunch dinner is usually what's different and that's where i usually struggle but now i was just thinking it's a matter of timing as long as i don't get myself too hungry for a long time i'll be able to hold on to my caloric deficit for until dinner time so thanks so much for watching until our next video don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet and stay safe stay healthy drink your water and stay active i'll see you on the next video bye